what is up and welcome back to my channel let's talk about that lit christmas intro what i know i'm not usually the type to like skip a whole month or christmas but um i decided to go ahead and get a head start on my intro and i fell in love with it so merry christmas <laughs> but anyway today we are back with our sims 3 to sims 4 series where we are recreating all the sims 3 families and their houses in the sims 4 so today we are recreating the wolf family which y'all i'm impressed with myself at how great their house turned out i love it but anyways for those of you who aren't familiar with the wolf family they are a pre-created playable family that appears in the sims 3 in sunset valley and it consists of thornton wolf and his wife morgana wolf while morgana has the family oriented and artistic traits thornton has dislikes children and can't stand art traits they were not aware of their differences when they got married Hmm. And it caused a problem in their relationship because they have completely opposite wishes and goals. The reason that Thornton dislikes children is because of the relationship he had with his parents with whom he never got along. It's also implied that Thornton married Morgana because he had to and not because he's in love with her. This scenario is familiar to the Crosby family and Andrews family which we will recreate maybe one of them I think. Maybe two. One? I don't know. <laughs> Later. But anyways... Their little description says both the arts and having children are very important to Morgana Wolf, but she has just learned that her new husband Thornton actively dislikes both. Oops, can these newlyweds save their young marriage? Should they even try? Also, a large part of the wolf family reappears in the Moonlight Falls world as actual werewolves, which is interesting. Although the exact relationship between the two is unknown, it is confirmed that the two are related. So yeah, basically, this nice little couple here, while they are both beautiful, they have problems. And if you guys remember the very first one, the very first family that I recreated for this series, it was Miss Jamie Jolina. I did mention that she was really good friends with Thornton, but disliked by her co-worker and his wife Morgana and I kind of gave y'all a little spill the tea on how I like to play with Jamie I always made her the homewrecker and every time I would go into the wolf family which trust me I've played with all of these pre-made families a bunch of times this wolf family was probably the most dramatic of all of them it just promised me lots of drama which we all know i love <laughs> so i had a lot of fun playing them but it, it never failed they never worked out unfortunately i know i probably should have them try but there's just no way you know obviously pff, he didn't marry her because he was in love with her he married her because he had to for whatever reason put your theories down below i don't know um and i don't know it's just i felt like she deserved better even though he was a very handsome um very you know rich very wealthy uh they both are but i don't know he just he's kind of like a jerk you know he just who dislikes children i mean i don't know um so kids get on my nerves sometimes but like overall i mean i love them i don't want my own but to each their own but yeah i don't know i could never imagine myself being with somebody you know like morgana it was somebody that does not like Morgana that came out wrong that made sense in my head but it came out wrong anyways like her who was with somebody <laughs> who did not want children it's just it's gonna cause problems and so I always had him cheat on her with Jamie and probably multiple other women I can't remember and she would always divorce him he would keep the house and she would move to another house and I'd renovate it for her make it real nice but I just imagine that this house which we are building now which like I said I am so impressed with how nice it turned out. <laughs> I always had him keep the house because, um, you know, he is in the business career. I feel like this was his accomplishment, even though she is um, actually in the, uh, she's in the medicine career track, right? What is, um, what, I don't remember how far along she is. I know she's a workaholic and she obviously loves her job. She wants to work hard and she wants to have, you know, nice things and nice house and raise her children, you know, to have, you know, nice things and, you know, make sure she's all taken care of, her kids, her family, everything's taken care of. So she is a workaholic, um, but I don't think it's because she loves work for real, for real. I think it's just because she wants to have that luxurious life for her family. Um, same as Thornton, but of course, you know, he's opposed to fatherhood and whatnot. But anyways, I just imagine that the house was you know, mostly his success since he is supposed to be like this business mogul and whatnot. Um, that's kind of how he was portrayed in The Sims so that's how I wanted to portray him in The Sims 4. So we've already 
past the little <laughs> creative sim, but I think they turned out really handsome and beautiful. Really handsome and beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, Doran has that funky, like, beard thing that goes around on his chin strap. I don't know, what do you call that, a chin strap? I'm not really sure. I did not have a beard like that in the game, and I could have went and, you know, dug around in custom content until I found something that more accurately matched his beard in The Sims 3, but I wasn't worried about it. I gave him, like, a 5 o'clock shadow, which made him look very professional and clean cut. Um, he is actually wearing, like, a business suit, but I didn't want him to look that fancy, uh, so, uh, you know, I kept it with, like, the the blue slacks and the white button up, which I think he's very handsome. I mean, who I, I have a problem, or in the past, not anymore. I'm actually with a very good guy now, but in the past, I had a problem, you know, with the bad boys, the ones you want to change, which I don't think he's a bad boy. It's just he's, he's kind of like unattainable. That's the sense I get from him. It's very unattainable. And uh, you just want to be the one to tame him. <laughs> and unfortunately for Gana, uh, for Morgana, geez, it's not going to work out or it didn't work out in, you know, my gameplay. You know, if you want to download them in The Sims 4 and play with them, which would be really fun. I'm honestly thinking about playing with them. All these families that I've recreated, I fall in love with their recreations and I'm like, oh, I want to play with them in The Sims 4. Um, so, I don't know. I may just, you know, I've mentioned this before, make this a save file once I finish and y'all can, you know, hop in and play with them if you want to. That'd be fun, but Anyways, if you want to download them, you know, you're free to do whatever you want to with them. But I never had it work out. They always struggle. They always have, like, a very bad relationship. And I don't know. I really feel for Morgana. She's a very beautiful girl. She's very successful. She's very smart. She loves art. You know, she wants to have kids. And unfortunately, um, I don't know if she knows that he married her because he had to. I'm, I'm interested to see y'all's theories or hear y'all's theories. I didn't really look into it on that, but that's really sad. I feel for her. I really, really do. Um, so, I think she deserves better, but I think it definitely will be a fun, you know, family to play if you're into, like, drama and affairs and all of that sorts of stuff. It'd be very scandalous. But anyways, on to their house, which, y'all, I don't build modern houses. I've said this before. If you are new to my channel, you probably don't know this, but if you're an OG, you know that I don't build a lot of modern houses. When I do, uh, it's I feel like they don't turn out the best because I think it's because I'm not used to seeing these type of houses. <laughs> I live in the South. We don't have these modern style houses, but I love them. They're just not familiar to me. So, of course, me copying this little floor plan I thought was going to be really, really hard, but it actually turned out really good, and I'm very impressed. I've said that a million times, but I'm going to keep saying it because this is like probably the best build that I've ever done, in my opinion. Um, I definitely could not have done this on my own, so I'm glad I was like copying, but but, you know, it is giving me skills and I'm learning for the future. But, yeah, it's a really funky floor plan. If you ask me, like, you know, how the, the back porch and it's it's just different. It's very different. Um, I think it turned out really nice. It's only a one-bedroom house. It's got one, two, three, three and a half baths. Um, there is, like, an office loft area upstairs, which... You could also kind of like close that off if you was to have them, you know, maybe her accidentally whoopsie and get pregnant. Oh, that's something I used to do. I always, I did, I used to always have them get pregnant or she would get pregnant and then he'd freak out because he doesn't want to be a dad. So she'd be left with his baby that he doesn't want to raise. He'd be having an affair and she'd find love elsewhere. And usually it was a, with Leighton Sekitimo, I can't say his name, Sekimito, I don't know. Y'all know who I'm talking about, but hopefully we're going to recreate him uh, soon because this one of my fam favorite families, y'all. I'm talking so fast. The reason why is because I'm trying to get this voiceover done before the live stream, um, the EA Monthly and the live stream for Get Famous comes out because I really have to get this voiceover done, but I'm, I'm very anxious to, to know the news on what's coming. So I'm, I'm struggling. I'm stumbling. Struggling and stumbling over my words trying to get this voiceover done. But the live stream can wait. This is important to have my content out and my quality of my channel good so I'm going to try to slow it down but anyways we are going to recreate Leighton Sekitimo I don't know how to say his last name but bear with me soon because he is one of my favorite families to play as well but anyways yeah um I always would close off that upstairs like office space which in 
you know, this recreation, I made it into like an office for them. I would always close it off because there is a bathroom up there too. And so you can make it one bedroom. You could probably squeeze two bedrooms up there if you wanted to. And then downstairs, um, it's kind of like a gym pool house area. I don't know, but it's very luxurious, very fancy. I love how um, it's like two stories high and I put the floor plan where I created the floor plan. I did that off camera because it took me a hot minute to figure out how to do that, <laughs> honestly. Uh, I don't know how I did it, but I figured it out. I thought it'd be hard, but it actually wasn't as hard as I thought. But I think it turned out really, really nice. I like how their loft area is upstairs and then their bedroom. Uh, I don't know. But anyways, I tried to portray her love for the art. Uh, I did not go really with the same color scheme as in The Sims 3 once we get to the interior. They actually have like really light wood floors and of course like funky furniture. I don't know. I feel like The Sims 3 houses, you know, even though we had all the the color wheel and the color swatches or color wheel, yeah, and the patterns and everything, I just feel like they were they're very weird like they're very ugly very retro looking and I just very random patterns and color schemes in these EA houses in The Sims 3 so I completely went for a different color scheme on the inside as you'll see I kind of went with a more dark wood so it's like dark wood well actually it's like y'all will see oh my gosh y'all can probably see right now I don't know why I tried to like explain stuff and then I can't explain it good but you know I think it came with cats and dogs and it was like the black wood mixed with like kind of the white and the the brown wood tint I don't know it's one of my favorite floorings but I don't use it often because I think it looks best in modern style houses which you know I don't do many of those but anyways um I gave you know the walls white so it's very clean very luxurious and artistic but yeah anyways downstairs right here we have this little workout room which it was a workout room in the sims 3 as well but you know you could i mean you could make this a bedroom if you wanted to you could make this the master bedroom too probably the master bedroom since it has its own bathroom with like a really nice tub and then it's looking out onto the pool right there i think that'd be like a nice master bedroom as well if you was interested in giving them children or you know adding on to their house and creating more rooms but you could also make it like a little game room i consider doing that as well but i also figured that thornton and morgana would both be very healthy you know they're very I don't, why do I, okay, I think this is like a misconception or not a misconception, but like a perception. A, I, I don't, I pretend like I know big words, but I don't. <laughs> but I always feel like people who are wealthy are in shape. And I think that's because where I live, there's this area, um, it's called the Village of Spring Hill. And it's actually where the hospital I work at is in Spring Hill. Anyways, so I drive past these houses these rich neighborhoods it's where all the doctors the lawyers the big business moguls everybody in my county lives everybody lives in spring hill if you're wealthy it's where all the rich kids live but they just always look like they have their lives together it's like a completely different world they go jogging i know right what they go jogging but they do like it's it sounds doesn't sound weird but it is weird because they jog on the sidewalk outside and kids ride their bikes to school you just don't do that nowadays not out in the country where I live with the poor folk. We don't do that because you can get snatched, you know, you can get kidnapped or something. I don't know. My mom would never let me ride my bike or go jogging by myself. But it's like, it's its, it's own little village. It's called the village. So I think that's why I always feel like rich people are in shape. So I decided to give them that gem that they have in The Sims 3. Um, you know, just make them real fit. I gave Morgana her little yoga area over there. I put some detail into it with the little bowling balls, aka weights. So I think it turned out pretty nice. But, you know, you could use your imagination and change that room into whatever you wanted to. But anyways, we are back upstairs. So as you can see, their house is very open floor plan, which I really like. Um, like I mentioned earlier, if you are not familiar with this house and this family, now you can see what I'm talking about with that wood floor. But also, um, you can see what I'm talking about when I say it's two stories high. You know, the ceilings are like two stories high, which is really, really pretty. Um, you probably can't tell here because I'm not in like live mode or live mode, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, but yeah, it's really pretty. It's really nice. And 
I actually end up changing the color swatches of the couch and that rug there and I also delete the curtains because it is two stories so I felt like it kind of looked weird just to have curtains on the bottom floor and not the top floor because it's all connected uh, and then when I put curtains up at the top it just didn't flow so I ended up deleting the curtains and I changed the color swatch to um, match the kitchen which was more of a brown and black instead of a white and black if that makes sense but anyways yeah so you'll see I gave Morgana a little area in the living room back corner where she can do her painting I think it turned out really nice and you'll see I put up these pictures on the wall um, I, I just I never use those paintings because they're very modern and like I said I don't build very many modern houses so I love those paintings I think they turned out really really nice and the kitchen I'm impressed with the kitchen because I made it super fancy as you'll see in a minute I gave them a little wine cooler rack whatever you want to call it <laughs> and also I just discovered the shelf and okay sometimes I forget about items in buy mode until I see somebody else use them or I accidentally come across it myself and I'm like whoa what is that where's that been like what so you'll see me overuse it one thing you're probably gonna start seeing me overuse is the shelf um, cause I don't ever usually use shelves. So one day I was exploring with shelves. See right there, that little rack with the wine glasses hanging. That is so cute. I don't even remember what pack did that come with. Did that come with Jungle Adventures? I don't remember, but that is so freaking cute. And I'm going to use it all the time now. Just be prepared. I just love the little wine glasses. So once I decided to use that, I gave them that little wine cooler or whatever. Because I figured, you know, everybody drinks. Well, not everybody, but you know, not as not just you know exclusive to rich people but you know I figured that they would be into buying that high-end high-class wine I like the cheap wine that's all I can afford <laughs> but anyways they're rich they can do what they want but see here I am changing the color swatches which I think looks a whole lot better to like the brown and black because it matched the kitchen and the dining area you know I'm OCD about my builds and I like the color schemes to flow and then also towards the end you see me add a little bit more downstairs where there's that hallway right there towards the back door if you know what I'm talking about if you've seen it <laughs> uh, I put a bar there like a big bar because I was like I don't know what to do with this space but then I thought of it turned out really nice but anyways also, at the entryway, I did something different that I usually don't do. Uh, I put a little coat rack behind the stairs. I usually don't use those stairs um, that has, you know, the open space behind it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, y'all. I hate voiceovers. I start to ramble. I'm sorry. But anyways, I made it a little coat rack for them, a little entryway area, and I thought it was really, really cute. And then, of course, I am trying to put laundry in all of these houses, which, you know, as I've mentioned in the previous builds and recreations, The Sims 3 Sunset Valley base game did not come with furniture. That came with ambitions, right? Yeah, ambitions. So I wanted to add that into my houses. So I've kind of had been having to put them in uh, bathrooms, which this one worked out perfectly. I'm waiting for the house that's really going to destroy my little flow I got going here with the laundry but they had a half bath downstairs so I just kind of extended it a little bit and then threw in a washer and dryer which was perfect but also I don't know I see the wolves you know Morgana and Thornton since they are so wealthy um I, I see them getting all their clothes dry cleaned because he wears fancy clothes anyways you know he wears more you know suits stuff that needs to be pressed and cleaned and everything so you know whatever but for my realism I wanted to give them laundry so upstairs this little loft area is actually my favorite part which in the sims 3 I always thought it was stupid <laughs> that they had their tv up there in the loft area I think it was just the way it was decorated I really didn't like it but I decided to go ahead and make downstairs more of like a formal living area, you know, for, you know, imagine him having a bunch of parties and a bunch of guests over, which is why I ended up putting the bar down there. And I made the upstairs loft area very cozy. I gave them a really big TV. Um, as you can see, I utilized um, the little, uh, what do you want to call it? The little puffy chair things, feet stools. They're actually like chairs, but I always use them as like feet props when I decorate in The Sims 4. I put those together to make a couch. So there's actually a lot of seating up there. 
But yeah, anyways, I think that is my favorite part of the house. I think it turned out really, really cute. And onto their master bedroom, which is really the only bedroom in the house. Um, they actually have two separate bathrooms, which I was kind of toying around with changing that floor plan up a little bit, but I have been pretty much, for the most part, sticking with the floor plans of these houses in The Sims 3 that I've been recreating, so I decided to, you know, keep that the same, just because I feel like Thornton is all about himself because he's so handsome and he's so successful that he'd be worse than a woman when it comes to getting ready if you feel me i feel like he would have his own separate closet if we can just pretend that's the closet as well i don't know we need walk-in closets wait you can actually build walk-in closets but it just takes up too much space if you ask me so i just kept it to bathrooms but as you'll see once I get to the bathrooms I put little shelves above the toilets and you can tell which whose is whose I put like men's accessories men's cologne and everything on the shelves and then her makeup and hairbrush and everything because yeah like I said I just imagine Thornton would you know be really into hairspray and his hair and making sure it's slick back and he looks good make sure he's always shaved always has that um after shave on he's smelling nice because you know he's he's got to pick up the ladies but yeah i don't know i always imagine that this house had so much more potential in the sims 3 um i thought the floor plan was kind of weird because i'm more of a family oriented sim player myself so i don't like houses that just typically are built for one bedroom because it kind of messes up my little plan to have a family one day but once i started recreating in the sims 4 i realized why it's one bedroom because obviously it's for thornton and uh, morgana but besides that it's just the floor plan is so unique, I'm not even going to complain about it, but as I mentioned earlier, you have plenty of options to, you know, change it around, add different bedrooms. I would personally, like I said, move the master bedroom downstairs, that way, I mean, I would love to have a master bedroom downstairs, well, it doesn't matter if it's downstairs, but, you know, overlooking the pool area, because that deck, like, extended to the pool, you see, so I thought that was really cool, and then I would use that room over there for a bedroom, I would also maybe close this off into a bedroom, because it has a bathroom up here, but in The Sims 3, it was their office area, so I kind of went for that same vibe, I gave them two separate desks to each their own as you can see it's decorated to each of their personalities morgana's has some like art sketches and some paintings and whatnot and then over here for thornton i just gave him a desk with a computer i gave him a bunch of you know files for like business where he you know come home and sometimes have to work from home and all of that gave them some bookshelves but yeah, I don't know. I think it's a really cool house. Like I said, the floor plan is very unique. It's very different. Not something that I would usually build because I wouldn't know how, let's be honest. Not because it's just not my type, but I just wouldn't even know where to begin. But anyways, um, y'all, that's the end of the house talk because... I actually had to take a break in between uh, this voiceover. You don't know this, but... <laughs> I'm gonna cut it out, edit it out, but in the middle of me talking, uh, I mentioned I was waiting on the live stream to talk. I had it, the Twitch in the background, you know, and windows open, and Kate started talking. She was like, hey guys, and I was like, oh crap. So I had to pause my little voiceover, and of course, I had to wait to see what this new secret feature is in The Sims that all of the Simmers I went to Sim Camp have been teasing us about. I have been dying to see what it was. I low key was hoping and praying, crossing all my fingers and toes that it was cars because I'm still not going to forget that Simguro Antonio, he made a garage when he showed off the terrain and the um, manipulation and the platforms and all of that. In the last um, live stream or Maxis Monthly, yeah, it was Maxis Monthly, I'm not going to forget here that he, oh my God, I'm getting, I'm getting tongue-tied, that he built a garage. To me, that says something. I'm expecting something to do with cars, some kind of patch, some kind of update, something. I'm, I'm still freaking fingers crossed it's going to be like The Sims 2. Even if they just sit in our driveway, I'm I'm crossing my fingers, that's what it is. So I thought that's what it was, but as you know, it wasn't. It's like first person view and different camera mode, which is really cool, but different, wasn't expecting that. Not really 
that excited about it but anyways y'all this build is finally over and i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up let me know what family you want to see me create next and yeah with that being said i will talk to y'all later bye <laughs>